This problem walkthrough video will demonstrate how to apply the learning curve function. Here's the data for our problem. Suppose a manufacturer of copiers has concluded that a 75% learning curve applies to the time a beginning service technician takes to install copy machines. A requirement for this problem is to use the learning curve Excel template to answer the following two questions. A. If the time required to install the first copy machine is estimated to be 5 hours, what is the estimate of the time required by a new technician to install the fourth and fifth copiers? And B. If the learning curve changes to 60% or 90%, what is an estimate of the time required by a new technician to install the fourth and fifth copiers? The learning curve function equation is y equals ax to the exponent of negative b, where x equals a number of units produced, a equals the number of hours required to produce the first unit, y equals the time to produce the xth unit, and b is the constant that defines a 100% learning curve. Recall, a p% percent learning curve characterizes a process in which the time of the 2xth unit is p% percent of the time of the xth unit. If we apply this to our requirement a using a 75% learning curve or rate, this means that the expected time to install the fourth copier is 75% of the time it took to install the second copier. We can solve our problem in two steps. Step one is to calculate the B constant at a 75% learning curve, which is calculated as the log of 0.75 divided by the log of 2. In order to do this manually, you'll need a calculator that can apply logarithms. Here's the calculation demonstrated using a Texas Instruments BA2 Plus financial calculator, where we can enter 0.75 and then press the LN button for logarithm, then divide, press the number 2, then LN, and then the equal sign to get a result of negative 0.4150. I'll store this answer into the calculator memory block number 1, so I can use it in the next step, by pressing STO, then 1. For step 2, we can substitute b into the learning curve function y equals ax exponent negative b. Notice that the exponent is negative b, and that's because the logarithm calculations for b resulted in a negative number. When substituting, we want to be careful not to substitute that as a double negative. For x equals 4, or the fourth installation, y equals the 5 hour installation time multiplied by 4 to the exponent of negative 0 0.4150, which equals 2.8 hours rounded. Using the calculator, enter 5 times, open parenthesis, 4, then press the yx button for the exponent function, then recall our RCL 1 to recall the calculated value of b stored in the memory block number 1. Close parenthesis and press the equal sign, and you should get the correct answer. For x equals 5, or the fifth installation, y equals the 5 hour initial installation time multiplied by 5 to the exponent of negative 0 0.4150, which equals about 2.6 hours rounded. Using the calculator, take 5 times open parenthesis, 5 yx for the exponent function, then recall 1 to recall the calculated value of b stored in the memory. Close parenthesis and press the equal sign, and you should get the correct answer. You can see here that the installation time drops with each successive installation, which makes sense as the technician should become more efficient with each installation. For requirement B at a learning curve of 60%, the assumption is that the time to install the fourth copier is 60% of the time to install the second copier. This means the technician is learning at a rate faster than in requirement A. Step 1 is to calculate B as log 0.60 divided by log 2 which is negative 0 0.7370. I've stored that in memory block 2. To determine the installation times for the fourth installation using the calculator, enter 5 times, open parenthesis, 4, yx, recall 2, close parenthesis, and after pressing the equal sign, you should get 1.8 hours. You could enter negative 0.7370 instead of recalling the stored value, and you'll end up to a very close but rounded value. For the fifth installation, enter 5 times open parenthesis, 5, yx, recall 2, close parenthesis, and after pressing the equal sign, you should get 1.5 hours. 
Notice that a 60% learning curve significantly reduces the installation times. If the learning curve was 90%, now the assumption is that it takes the technicians 90% of the time to install the fourth copier than it did to install the second. We would determine B to be log 0 0.90 divided by log 2, which equals negative 0 0.1520. Then substitute into the learning curve function for the fourth and fifth installations. The fourth installation would take 4.05 or about 4.1 hours calculated as 5 times 4 exponent negative 0 0.1520. Using the calculator without recalling, the calculation would look like this. 5 times, open parenthesis, 4 yx 0 0.1520, and then press the plus minus button, then close the parenthesis, and enter equals. And the fifth installation is 3.91 hours calculated as 5 times 5 exponent negative 0 0.1520. Using the calculator without recalling, the calculation would look like this. 5 times open parenthesis 5yx 0.1520 plus minus button close parenthesis equals.